Verifying the president's claim, House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunez saying communication from members of President Trump's team was collected during surveillance efforts. What I've read uh, bothers me, and I think it should bother uh, the president himself and his team uh, because I don't. I think some of it seems to be inappropriate. Here now is Lieutenant General Thomas McInerney, Fox News military analyst. Um, dozens of reports which eventually unmasked several individual identities within the campaign and it was widely disseminated. None of the reports that Devin Nunez read mentioned Russia or Russians. And he was unsure where the surveillance took place, whether it was Trump Tower or where it was. Is this surprising, outrageous, run of the mill? How would you characterize it? Well, it's certainly not surprising to me, Melissa. Uh, I was just wondering when people would finally bring it up. Once uh, Director Comey mentioned it, that there had been an uh, investigation since last July, I automatically knew that they were then uh, using electronic means, if you will, to get further information. He tipped us all off when he said that since July. So they get these, quote, incidental uh, individuals that they pick up things. And the fact is, is uh, it's now being uh, starting to be widely disseminated that, in fact, that the uh, Trump campaign was monitored electronically, okay. probably in a whole host of areas. So, so the excuse for this before was, well, you know, somebody within the Trump campaign was calling the Russian ambassador and was talking to somebody who they were surveilling the Russians, not whoever it was that they were talking to that might have been connected to Trump. And that's why it was picked up. That was the excuse before. But with this now, that excuse doesn't hold if Chairman Nunez is saying that no one in the conversation had anything to do with Russia, it wasn't mentioned, it had nothing to do with that. So it isn't about the investigation. Well, the investigation is used as a cover. And there are a lot of f fingerprints that are now going to start coming out that will show that the Obama administration was heavily listening to what was going on in the Trump campaign. Now, I don't know what Director Comey is going to say about that, but the fact is, is I think the evidence is going to be clear that that's what happened when they go into closed session. Okay. Uh, I don't have the details, but I can assure you the American public is not going to like it. Okay. So we're hearing right now that the DNC senior advisor is issuing a following statement right now. Former Trump transition member Devin Nunez blew what little credibility he had left with this pathetic charade. This isn't an investigation. It's a protection racket for Donald Trump and his fragile ego. All Nunez has achieved is to prove that we need a real independent investigation and to raise serious questions about why the Trump team was in communication with foreign individuals under FISA warrant. It's time for an independent 9-11 style commission and a special prosecutor now. What's your reaction? Well, I expect that from the Democrats. This whole thing has been a charade. It is tactical deception. They do not want the Trump administration to start looking in at the violation of the Espionage Act by Hillary Clinton with her rogue server and by the president who used a pseudonym on her rogue server. And they both are in violation of the Espionage Act. They do not want this to come out. So they have brought up all these other facts about Russia and why they lost the election. But that's where the trouble is, let alone the Clinton Foundation. That is a, a huge pay for business deal. What, what about the fact that you're supposed to go to jail if you unmask any of these people who are incidentally collected on these calls? Absolutely. That's another criminal offense. And so I think the uh, special prosecutor ought to start looking at Hillary Clinton's rogue server that was never given an ATO, which is an authority to operate. Yeah. And she had over 2,000 classified emails, okay. 200 class uh, SAP emails, and that's in violation of the Espionage Act. General McInerney, thank you for your insight. We appreciate your time, sir. Thank you.